Happy Friday guys! Finally, I feel like the week has been dragging on, but welcome to a weekend vlog. Weekend vlogs are going to be a thing now, hopefully. If you're seeing this video, that means I've gotten my storage together. We are on point, we are good to go. You'll probably see a March vlog before this one, but this vlog will probably go up like a day or two after the March vlog, so you get two vlogs in one week so we can play catch up but yeah how's everybody doing how was your week um i feel like this week dragged on it's late it's way way past my bedtime even for a friday it's 11 p.m i'm having some kombucha it is lime and um matcha it tastes really good i've never had matcha before but i think the lime is what makes it taste good. I like it, it's from the brand Rise. It's one of their new flavors. It's so good. I'm actually about to get ready to go to bed. But before that, I came on here because I bought some stuff today. I swear every weekend I am buying something. We're gonna do like a little haul moment and then um, we're gonna journal and then we're gonna plan out the rest of April because it is the first of the month honey we are getting ready for a new month and be planning out my content but we'll, we'll get to that after we're gonna do our little unhaul first I obviously went to winners today and I also went to Walmart first off to get a um, external hard drive but I got it this morning didn't work like it worked but I guess I didn't know how to use it so I ended up returning it after my shift today I had stopped by winners so let's see I got a, a bodysuit it's just a plain um white bodysuit snap bottoms love that for me it was $15 $14.99 I got it in the size small and the brand is gaze I guess DTLA so like downtown LA I guess that stands for but yeah it's just like a basic top it's pretty thick it's a super soft material as well so that's why I really liked it and I mean $14.99 for a bodysuit yes please I also picked up a facial oil this is from the brand Valjean Labs I've never heard of them before but it's an overnight repair retinol plus blue tansy facial oil um, I used it today. It doesn't have a strong smell like I thought it would. Like I thought it would be kind of like the Sunday Riley Luna facial oil, you know which one I'm talking about. That one is super potent. I really like that one. So I'm hoping this works out the same as well because I do want a retinol to um, put on every night. I'll let you know if I see any results from it. But it is a $9.99 again at Winners. Which is not a bad price for a facial oil so there's that i picked up these pajamas a uh, guys cutest pajamas i've ever laid my eyes on it came in a set it's a top it's a bottoms let me show you let's see it don't mind my toes okay you can't see my toes great so it's like a two-piece set shorts pockets button up top um breast pocket short sleeves i love it it's so comfy the material is super super soft it's it feels so good it was 25 dollars. cannot go wrong for a two-piece matching set pajamas i just and it's black with white trim i'm in love i feel like a real grown up with a matching two-piece set you know what i mean and for 25 dollars give me give me all of it. This is the pajama brand. Like I said, it was $24.99, so $25, honey. So good. I need like 10 more in different colors. This reminds me of that popular Target brand everyone keeps talking about, um, Stars Above or something like that. Always wanted to try that brand out, but Target doesn't ship to Canada and it's not on Amazon. So I think this is the closest that I will ever find. Listen, when I saw this, I immediately, immediately added it to my basket. This perfume right here brings me back to my high school days, my like first years of college. This perfume, the two Nicki Minaj perfumes that I wore was Pink Friday 
and I forgot what the other one was called. Oh my gosh, but it was like a dark pink wig that she had on, short and curly. Oh, I'll put it up on the screen somewhere, but those two scents, that was my shit. That is all I wore throughout like my last year of high school and my first years of college, my ride or die. So when I seen this perfume at Winners for $20, I have to pick it up. It's it smells so good. I still have the bottles of the old ones that I have, but like, let me open it. I'm gonna open it. Oh my gosh! Like, what? Brings back so much memories, and I have to spray it. I'm gonna spray it. I don't care. I will wear it to bed. Yup. Just like I remember, so good. I couldn't find these for so long. Me and my mom have been looking for these for like forever. And we never had them. But I found it for $20 and I'm so happy that I can add it back in my collection. I'm gonna go to bed. Well, first I'm gonna journal. First, before I journal, I'm gonna do my stretch routine because I've been stretching before bed. I'm trying to get into the habit of doing that because it feels really nice to have a good like little yoga sesh before going to sleep i do my yoga i write in my journal i listen to a little like coaching sesh if you will from the fabulous app which i love um and then i'm gonna plan out my content for april so this is what it's gonna look like we're gonna stretch in a journal five minute journal and then in my big ass agenda this is where i like to like plan out my content for the month because first of all it's so cute you have like space to do so much so february a few of my goals is to go on more walks i've been walking almost every day for about a week and a half now since the weather has gotten nicer spring in canada non-existent i'm telling you right now it snowed this morning it was 16 degrees yesterday, but it snowed this morning. We don't got spring here. It it doesn't happen. I've been really good with my eating. Like I'm not like on a diet or anything, but I've been doing good with balance because I really have, I used to struggle with like balancing my meals and stuff like that. I used to like way too much portions, sugar, overload, um, vegetables, non-existent but i'm getting better at it i've been good for the past like month so we're gonna keep going with that i'm gonna finish my kombucha i'm gonna go to bed because it is 11 30 and i'm mad tired so yeah happy saturday it is 10 30 i'm running late today i was supposed to be at the mall like half an hour ago when it first opened but you know i got caught up in cleaning yeah i got up really early this morning i was up at like 6 45 7 i did breakfast as you saw prior my morning routine i did all that i tidied up a little bit which was kind of nice and now i am ready to go i don't know if i want to wear this jacket though if I want to go with like a smaller puffer because this one's kind of oversized I don't know if I want to go with this like oversized jacket from garage with these pants or these pants guys I am honestly gonna be living in these these are from H&M they're so comfy I've like 
worn them already and they're so cute you can pair them with literally anything i already styled them on my reels on instagram so you can go check it out there but these pants are so nice but anyways um or this pink jacket i kind of want to wear pink today because i want to wear my pink bag but what do we think which one looks better don't mind my bedroom it is a mess but this bag this jacket i don't know i think i'm gonna go with the puffer yes yes it's more chill i'm literally just going shopping i want to go to h&m and get some stuff if i can find different colors in these pants that would be fantastic but i think i'm gonna go with this and this bag and my air force ones I got this bag from Winners. Isn't it cute? It's so pretty. Today is going to be pretty busy because I have a lot to do. Because I don't really want to do much tomorrow except for film content, take pictures, and stuff like that. So I want to wash my hair today. We're going to go to the mall. Okay, wait. Today's agenda. Mall. Hair washing. We got to make sure we eat our two other meals for the day today cannot skip those meals um i kind of want sushi i don't know i feel like sushi is like my saturday like comfort meal and i just i need to have sushi today i don't know i'll figure out when i go to the mall but yeah going to the mall h&m and h&m only actually no i do want to go to kohl's as well because i want to pick up a book because my goal for this month is to read a book an entire book front to back need to get back into reading so we're gonna get a book we're gonna go to h&m pick out some stuff i might go to garage i'm tempted I'm really tempted if they have the pants that i really really want then i'll grab them if not we're not picking up anything from garage we're not doing it um mall eat lunch wash our hair i feel like i had more things to do oh um plan out outfits that I need to film in and take pictures in I think that's it I think that's it I feel like I had more to do today though I'm not sure but anyways I'm late I gotta go so yeah I will see you guys later maybe at the mall probably not because mm, filming no maybe in the change room I don't know we'll see but I will see you guys later I couldn't believe it Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday, um, nine o'clock. I know I was supposed to come back, but I got caught up doing other things. I did go shopping. I did buy some stuff. Am I crooked? I just got out of bed. I did go shopping yesterday. I bought quite a few things, which I will show you in a bit. Um, y'all, it is fucking snowing outside. Why? I don't want to say this, but I dislike Canada. I re for the weather, it's 0 out of 10 would recommend. But yeah, I wanted to go outside today so I can shoot some pictures. But I can't because it's snowing, which means it's cold and my spring attire is not snow appropriate so i think i'll be taking pictures inside once again oh, i really wanted to get some outside pictures but i can't um i did wash my hair last night yay me it didn't take that long also because you know i did chop my hair so it was a lot easier to blow dry to straighten to do like a hair mask um y'all i wish i would have filmed it because it looked so fluffy last night i gave myself like a cute little mini blowout it was so cute it was nice and fluffy and voluminous i loved it but you know since i wrapped it up last night it came out flat this morning but we're gonna fix that later um i didn't really realize how short my hair was until yesterday but it's cute i like it i think i would go this length more often i like it i do want to get extensions though pretty sure every girl that chops their hair off is like yeah this is cute but i want to get my 22 inches on you know so yeah sometimes we'll get those done but for now we're rocking the short 
Bobbyanna. I'm starving, so I'm gonna make breakfast. I think I'm gonna have oatmeal today. What was I do yesterday? I ended up going for a walk because the weather looked nice, but when I got outside, it's freaking cold as shit. It was so windy, but I did go for my walk, which was really, really nice. What else did I do yesterday? I remembered I had to put away my laundry, so I still have two baskets of folded laundry. They're at least folded, so I just had to put them away so I can have room to make my reels today. So all day today, I'm gonna be just content. Content, content, content. I have to, um, I have to edit all of this footage for this mini vlog or this weekend vlog, and then I still have to finish editing March vlog. And yeah, there's one more video that is pretty much done, just the thumbnail and stuff like that and audio. And then that can go up this week too. So hopefully you'll get three videos from me this week and then two for like whatever amount of time. I think that's it. So today is a content day, putting away laundry. I have to meal prep too. Oh, at least the chicken's already seasoned. That's already done. Oh, let me show you the air fryer, but I want to eat first. Okay, let me sh quickly show you the air fryer. Hold on, let's go. So this is it here. And if you can see it, the lighting isn't that great. But this is the new um, air fryer that I bought that I told you guys about the other day. I love it. Well, I haven't used it yet, but just the look of it, it just, it doesn't take up too much space, which I like. I did wash like the parts for it too. It's from the brand Caloric. I've had this brand before, but in a different like model of air fryer. It was really big. It looked like a toaster oven, but like a bigger version of it because I think you can also make pieces in that one too, but it was super hard to clean and stuff like that. So um, I just decided to get a new one. Uh, this is the like parts. I washed it yesterday. And then, we just put her in like that. I mean, you need some force to push it in, but you get the point. There it is. I'm gonna use her for lunch when I make my vegetables today. I'm gonna have some Quaker's gluten-free oats with almond milk and almond butter. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that. Ooh, and I want to make desserts today. I want to make dessert today. That has to be a thing for me too. Let's see. But ooh, also, this is the, uh, let me close the fridge, hold on. Uh, I used silk almond milk and I like to put almond butter in my oatmeal. And we're gonna do a little bit of salt. There's something else that I want to show you guys. Oh. Um, this is the other flavor. I finished the green one, so I couldn't show you that. But this one, I haven't tried it yet. As you can see, I have not opened it, but I'm excited because the blue, hello, was very much intriguing. It's a lot lighter in person, but it is the peach and mango flavored kombucha from Rise. I can't, I might just try it now. I just, the green one made sense because it was lime and matcha, and you know, both matcha and lime are green, but I just don't understand the blue coloring of this because peach and mango are yellow. So I don't really understand where the blue came from, but I'm gonna try it around lunchtime, so I'll be back to like try that out. But like I said, I wanna make desserts today because it's like, I love baking. I'd rather bake than cook. Cooking isn't really like, my forte not that i can't i just don't like to do it baking is so much fun the decorating just the creativity that comes with it i like it better so um what i want to do like make a habit every sunday to like bake something but for this weekend i'm not doing it from scratch because as you as i said i don't have time i'm gonna be doing content today so I did buy like the Pillsbury cinnamon bun um, pastries and then I got my Sweet Lauren's cookies that I want to do like a platter, like a dessert platter because I think that's really cute to have like fresh baked goods for the week. I think I love that. I love that concept. Every like if I in my head when I move out in my nice cute like luxury apartment, I want to have like sweets just everywhere like a dessert platter, a dessert tier 
a platter tier. You know what I'm saying? I'm so hungry. I'm just gonna make my oats and then like I'll come back when I'm ready to film everything. So I'm done getting ready. Um, I did some makeup because like I said, I'm gonna be shooting some content. I was trying on this shirt. You guys can't see because you're balancing on my bed right now and like I don't have a great view. I need to go to the mall because I bought this shirt. Okay, do you see how nice and like orangey it looks in the light? Well, when it gets darker, it doesn't look like this. I thought it was gonna give me this kind of orange, you know, but it pulls more like red than it does orange. And in the light at the store, when I tried it on at H&M, it looked like this, but it's giving this. And when there's no lighting, it gives off like red orange and I don't like that. So I gotta go back today and I have to return it because yeah I want my money back and I want to get something else so um it's in a size small it's oversized very much oversized button up shirt it's really nice on because it has these slits at the bottom of the shirt so you can you can't really get away with it doing it as a dress if only if you wear like biker shorts or something underneath it but it looks so cute with these mom jeans that I'm currently wearing that I also picked up but yeah, I'm really sad because the lighting really plagued me at H&M, but it has to go. I need to return it. Before I continue on with my little haul though, can we just take in the hair? This is what I was talking about when I said my hair was nice and fluffy last night, girl. We revived it. We did a little Bobby Anna business. She's good to go. Um, but let's continue with the haul. Everything that I picked up yesterday was from H&M. I also got this green top. How cute. I love green for this season. I think, not I think, I know green is my color for spring and summer this year. It's just so cute. It's getting like early 90s, early, not early 90s, but like late 90s, early 2000s is what I meant. Kind of vibes. And you can like just do like one button or like these two buttons and just leave the rest open. A pair of jeans a skirt would be so cute the high boots your hair back in a claw clip oh, it's giving vibes I love it and the material is like it's a nice stretchy material so I really like that that was also um, $20 mine is in a small and then I also picked up these shorts because um, hello orange definitely my color but yeah they were $14.99 so I mean you can't go wrong with a pair of shorts well I picked up this shirt and it ties at the back. You guys know how I feel about a tie-up shirt. I love it. It fits very nicely. It's in a small. It was $12.99. Can't go wrong with that. And I'm going to show you the jeans that I picked up too. They are mom jeans, high-waisted, size 6. Um, hold on. But these are the jeans that I got. Mom jeans, high-waisted, size 36, aka a 6. But yeah, they came cuffed at the bottoms. I uncuffed them to try them on with a pair of heels. And this is a fit, for sure. They were $34.99, I think, so not bad of a price. I also went to Kohl's because, like I said, I wanted a book to read for the month. And I got this one. It's called Shy by Annie Rideau. How being shy can lead to success. So I'm really excited to read it. I did start it. I'm on, like, page three or something like that. I'm only on the introduction. But I liked it because, you know, I am fairly shy, but I'm thinking it's more so, well, I think I, I knew it was social anxiety. But I'm excited to read this book. So, I mean, if you're shy, I think maybe, uh, well, you know what? Let me not say nothing yet because I haven't read the book. So I'll let you know how that goes. I got this from Amazon. It came in the mail yesterday. Y'all, I've been trying to learn Korean for like a year and I say trying very lightly because I was using Duolingo for a couple months, but the thing with me, I don't like learning online, okay? I'm very much old fashioned, I like books. I like to hold things in my hands, I like to see it, I like to feel it. I can write in this, um, I can read it. I don't like reading online for so long because one, your eyes, that's not good for your eyes and two it's just very straining like I don't I don't like that but yeah I'm very old-fashioned which is why I still buy books 
I'm not a Kobo Kindle type girl. I tried it. My mom got me a Kobo years ago for Christmas. I bought a few books on there. I still ended up buying the physical books because I just, I like to hold them. I like to touch them. Finally, it's my goal to be fluent, to understand, to read, and at least write a little bit of Korean. But writing, it's not really like that high up for me in priority, whereas speaking and um, understanding everything is like really up there for me wish me luck i just skimmed through it and it seems kind of hard everybody says it's easy like it's easy to learn but i'm like y'all how though but we're gonna do it we're gonna get through it by december your girl will be speaking korean and watching her k dramas in the background while doing laundry okay no more subtitles for ma but in the meantime we'll be learning so yeah that is pretty much all i got yesterday yeah i'm gonna go to the mall before i start filming because the mall opened 14 minutes ago it is 11 o'clock i need to go and return that shirt pick up something else instead i seen this dress you guys and it's so freaking cute it is so pretty on but the material is like swimsuit material and i'm like mm, i don't like that it's 30 dollars though I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should pick up the dress. And I don't know how often I'm gonna wear this dress because it's a super pattern green, um, white and brown dress. When I get to the store, I'll show it to you guys. But like, I want it, but at the same time, I'm like, are you really gonna wear this other, like outside of just for content? Cause I'm now starting to realize like when I buy clothes, I'm buying it just to film content and it's not really wearable if I were to go out or something. So I'm making it more of a thing to buy clothes that one, I can wear a bajillion times in many different ways and make it work for content. I just need to clean up my entire closet. That's pretty much what that comes down to. But I gotta go. My makeup's done. I need to change and head to the mall and come back and we're gonna do content all day. So yeah. I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so this is what we're wearing today. Quick in and out of the mall fit. Teddy is from Aritzia, the shirt from H&M I was wearing. Pretty little thing, joggers and my Puma Kelly's. My bag is from Kohl's and we're out, let's go. <music> I, that took way longer than it should have, but it's okay. I've got the goods. I returned the shirt. There was a whole issue like returning because she returned the wrong thing. And I realized, I was like, wait a minute, this math ain't mathin. So I had to go back and get her to fix it, which is fine. It happens. But yeah, so I did the return and I got... Y'all, I got the blue version of the brown pants that I love so much. It's like a baby blue. It's so pretty and it looks so good on. I cannot wait to wear her outside to style her. Yes, girl, $20. Can't go wrong with a comfy pair of pants. And I just got like a basic white um, tank top. I don't know how I'm going to put this on because why is the neck like... Mad small, how am I supposed to get my head in here with makeup on? We'll figure that out, but I'm gonna start, I'm gonna eat, cause I'm, I'm starving. So we're gonna go downstairs, we're gonna make something to eat, and then I'm gonna start filming, because it's one o'clock and we are late. Hopefully there's enough light until like six. Oh, there's a bird cleaning itself on the tree. Cute, what was I saying? After I eat lunch, I'm going to film my new clothes, styling them and whatnot. You guys will be able to see the fits on my Instagram and how I style my new pieces on there. So make sure you are following me on Instagram. And yeah, let's go eat. We've made it to the kitchen. I think I'm gonna snap some McCain fries and then I found some chicken wings in the freezer. And I'm gonna make those in the air fryer as well. So let's go get it together, girl. Sorry for the lighting. This kitchen doesn't have the best light, but we're gonna make it work. 
think I already know what kind of content I'm gonna make. There's one that's really popular on my page that people seem to like, and I really like making it too. So I'm gonna do that one. I don't even have a plan. I'm just gonna randomly like create what I need to create. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I wanna take some pictures too because my outfits are so cute and I'm pissed because now the fucking sun is out. And I'm just like, bro, I don't wanna go outside and take pictures now. Like, ew. Unless I go to the park and do it. Which isn't a bad idea. But still, I kind of don't really want to do that at this time because everybody is outside and people are nosy as hell. So I don't really want to do that. Did I plug this in? Did it turn on? I don't know. Okay. Get my fries. Do you guys make your own fries or do you like get frozen fries? I like a bit of both. Sometimes I like to make fries. If I'm not lazy, I'll do like the skinny ones or wedges. But for a lazy, I want to make this. Ooh, that's too much. Freezer fries are the way to go. And I love french fries. I cannot live without them. This is what we're looking like for lunch. Fries and chicken wings. Well, they're mostly drumsticks. I love drumsticks. So I'm pop them in there. Let me put y'all down, hold on. I don't know how to work this. I did not read the instructions on it. So we're just gonna guess 15 minutes at 370. Oh, that's going down. I'm gonna do. Oh, it only goes up to 400. Okay, sounds good. 15 minutes at 400. Oh, she quite quiet. The other one I had was so loud. In the meantime, I guess what I can do is do some of these dishes while that's being cooked. Wait, was I supposed to preheat that? I don't know, who cares? Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do these dishes because there's not a lot. I don't wanna put away these ones though, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna do these ones that are here, and then, <gasps> you know what we can do? We can bake, because I said that's what I wanted to do. So I'm actually, I'm gonna wash these dishes first. Okay, responsibilities, gotta come first. I'm gonna wash the dishes, and then, if we still have time while our food is cooking, then we will bake. So yeah. All right guys, I have finished the dishes. In between, I took out the fries because they were pretty much done. They are crispy, girl. They taste so good. But um, the chicken, this is what they look like in the fryer. I'm pretty sure they're done. I might put them back in for like a couple minutes, but um, I think they're done. Let's see. Mm hmm These are done for sure. Okay. Perfect. But yeah, lunch is served. I'm not ketchup. I like ketchup, but I don't want to eat ketchup, you know? And I don't have any garlic sauce. I wish I had extra zesty packets from Burger King, but I don't have any. But we're gonna try this drink. Hopefully it tastes good. It better taste good because the blue reminds me of hypnotic or like a blue like drink from a bar or something oh girl don't settle down please settle down hopefully it tastes good it smells good mmm that smell you can smell the mango 
It smells so good. You can definitely taste the mango at first sip and then the peach comes in afterwards. I like it. That's my drink for lunch. I love kombucha. Honestly, this brand hits. It hits. When it comes to kombucha, she did that. Even the sugar-free ones are actually really good too. I don't mind those ones, but the flavors in the originals, girl, they hit. But I'm going to eat my lunch because I'm going to start filming. Well, not, well, yeah, content creating at 2. It is 1.34. I want to do as many reels as I can. See how many pictures I can take to post for this week. And yeah, I really want to bake, but I might not be able to do it because baking is like that self-care for me and i don't want to rush it so i might save the baking for another day sadly we'll see maybe i can bake one thing like the cookies maybe i'll do the cookies for like dessert or something but i did cookies the last time with you guys it doesn't matter i don't care i'm gonna do the cookies and i have to cook the chicken that I took out has thawed out. Luckily, I seasoned it a few days ago. So just have to throw it in the pan or the pot. I'm going to curry it, chickpeas, jasmine rice with veggies on the side for the week. That's going to be my lunch for the week. And then I want to be done everything by 6. So I can just shower, relax, and edit all of this footage. So... I'll see you guys later, hopefully. I might have to end the vlog here. I might. for my third reel and I put on this outfit hold on let me show you guys these are the pants that I bought from H&M today like I never thought in a million years that I would wear pants like this in this color I mean the brown ones are sick I love the brown ones y'all see me in the brown ones yesterday but this blue, you often I catch me in this outfit in the spring, in the summer. I'm, it's so cute. I feel like a cute little mini bag would be perfect with this outfit. I'm wearing the Air Force Ones with it. Oh, this is so cute. I love this entire outfit. And you know what? This shirt isn't too bad to put on either. I just put on like a headscarf over my head and I just put it on. It's not hard to like put the arms in or anything, but it's like super comfortable. You can't really see like the nips or anything, but I'm in love. I'm done. So I finished um, filming what I needed to film for content. I did three videos instead of five like I originally planned to just because the sun has gone away. Like it is 
mad cloudy like dark clouds like it looks like it's going to rain and I don't want to force to film the reels I'd rather have um, great lighting and really good quality for my work because it deserves the best of the best and so do you guys if you guys watch currently working on editing my March vlog um, it's almost done I just have to import a few more clips and then I'm gonna start editing this vlog so it can go up on like Wednesday or something and I have one more video that like I said before just needs some audio but other than that it'll be pretty much done and then I can start filming my reels like I don't understand the weather because now the sun is trying to come out it's it's fine I'm done I'm not even gonna bother with it anymore but um yeah I'm just gonna end this vlog here guys after this, I still have a lot of things to do and I really want to get the majority, if not all, of my content edited, ready for the week. I still got to cook. I got to clean up my room because it's a disaster. It doesn't look too bad, but still, I like to start off my week with a clean bedroom. I hope you guys enjoy your week and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!